Hello everyone, welcome back to a little bit of everything. Today I'm going to be reviewing the YSL envelope medium bag and the Chanel classic jumbo flat bag. Starting off with the YSL envelope medium bag in the color of black. This one is a calfskin leather with a silver tone metal hardware. This black one also comes with a matte black and the bronze tone metal hardware. There is a mix of vertical chevron and diamond quilted over stitching which features a leather and chain strap that can be worn in two different ways this bag retails for 2190 us dollars so let's move on to the chanel bag now just to give you a little bit more information on this one and i'll be going back and forth a little bit so moving on with the chanel bag this one came nicely wrapped with the signature ribbon and flower. It was all nice and pretty, but I did use it a couple times before we went into quarantine. But um, this one is the classic jumbo flat bag in the color black. And it's a lambskin leather with the gold tone metal hardware. Some tips on how to take care of your handbag is one, keep them in their designated dust bag. Most handbags come with their own dust bag cover, but if yours doesn't, you can use a pillowcase to avoid the dust and protect it. Also, stuffing your bag with tissue paper is a good way to maintain its shape. Um, you can also use an old t-shirt, towel, whatever you have available. Lastly, store bags on a shelf. Avoid hanging them because in the long run, it may cause wear and tear due to the weight of the bag. What I do is place them in the box they originally come in um, and store them in the shelf in my closet. One thing is that it may take a little bit of time to put away and take out every time you want to use it, but it will be worth it in the long run. So this Chanel Jumbo Flat Bag retails for $6,400 US dollars. The dimensions on the bag are 7.6 by 11.7 by 3.9 inches. That is the height, the length, and the width. On the back side of the bag, there is a flat pocket that fits my 11 Pro iPhone perfectly. As you can see here, I'm showing you with one of my cases for a visual image. When we open the bag on that first flap, there is a zipper pouch section where you can fit a lipstick with a couple lip liners or a couple pens. On that second flap with the burgundy interior, you can see the Stitch Chanel logo on there. That burgundy material runs into the main section of the bag, which has an open compartment. There also is a slip pocket in the front where you can also fit your cell phone in there. The main open compartment is pretty spacious. It does have two slip pockets and a lipstick holder. Second flap of the bag does have a secured button that goes over that first pocket of the bag. When we close it, there also is another section behind that one, which is just a flat slip pocket and then we'll that second the first flap is where we can just fully close it and secure our bag so this bag as you can see is very shiny and it is also very soft i love how it looks and shines on the side there is a different material that runs all through the bottom to the other side of the bag this material i saw that the calf skin also has it's probably the one they use so that it doesn't when you put it on a surface, it doesn't scratch and it's more durable. But I did go with the lambskin leather because I already had the YSL calf skin and I wanted to go with something completely different due to the collection I have of bags. And I am happy with what I decided. I, I love how classic the Chanel looks. Here, I'm putting it there for reference on the sizing. The YSL is similar to the size medium in the chanel classic bag so however the strap on the ysl is longer so that's why i really like this purse another reason why i went with the jumbo chanel bag is because i was able to use it two ways rather than one the medium bag was not suiting or suited 
for my body type. I just didn't like how it sat on me. It was way too short. And this one is a little bit longer, but I still can use it as a crossbody and a shoulder bag. And I feel like it doesn't hang that low on me. I am 5'3", just for reference. And I like how it sits. I don't think it's too low. The other one is a little bit more, you can wear it more formal due to the size. But I... I feel like this one, you can just wear it on the shoulder and it'll be fine. Now the YSL bag, this is how it looks on my shoulder. I do cover a little bit more of the, it just sits a little bit higher on my shoulder. But when I do crossbody, I feel like it's perfect. I love the size. I love where it sits. And I just, I didn't feel the same with the Chanel medium bag. The other one was like right under my bust area so it was really awkward on me so i didn't like that one but i'm happy with the jumbo size if it's a little bit more and i feel like the price difference was worth it so that's how this one looks i love it i did give it a lot of thought in purchasing the lambskin rather than the calfskin since calfskin tends to be more durable and doesn't scratch so I thought about it a lot and I didn't know what to do and they didn't have the size I wanted in the lambskin so I was like maybe it's a sign so I just I let I just left the store I gave it thought and I was like no I really want the lambskin so they told me that I wasn't going to be able to get it till maybe fall 2020 due to the spring collection coming in and all that so then I went to another boutique and they had the jumbo lambskin with the gold hardware. And I was like, okay, it's meant to be. I'm going to go with the lambskin. Everyone in my family told me to go with the lambskin because I already had the YSL calfskin and just try something different. And even then, I feel like it looks so classic and it's just the black that it shows. But I do have the wallet for the YSL bag, envelope bag. And I love it. It's really compact and it does fit a lot of a lot in it it does have six card slots one zip pocket um one bill compartment four receipt compartments in the middle and it has a little section slip pocket in the back and this wallet retails for 650 US dollars and it's the monogram compact trifold in grain so that's that one but this just to show you a little bit more this envelope bag does fit my big Louis Vuitton wallet and I can also fit this little mini Louis Vuitton pouch I use for my lipsticks and chapstick and all that and it fits in there as well and I always tend to put my phone in the back section I'll show you as I did with the Chanel bag but I really hope you enjoyed this review if you have any questions please leave them down below and I'll see you next time bye